Pray, welcome back to 127 NZ Mopor Outlaw Customs. This morning, we're going to put these bloody front wheels in this bloody thing. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I'm put the front wheels on. I'm actually going to measure up the inside of the um, hub and the stub axle we'll just to work out those seals. So I haven't measured them yet. So I'm going to do that before I put the wheel, throw the wheels on. And then I'm going to have a clean up. Um, and hopefully, maybe the owner might come over here shortly and we'll work out so we can get enough bodies to get the body on. You know what I mean? Right, human bodies to lift the body on. <laughs> um, and I'll suss out that plastic, that clear plastic, and put it over top of this frame. Just so I can, just, we can see where the bolt holes are. Because you can't see with the black plastic. Um, so yeah, I'll do that. Righty, so I'm in the midst of just picking tools up. Basically, it's all I've done. I haven't even measured that yet. I just, God, I just every time I look for a tool at the moment, because I've got everything spread out so far, and because I've sort of got a lack of tool space, because it makes it weird. When everything's back in the drawers, it's so condensed. Um, look at my, that's my metric span. It's like, you got to dig to even find. I don't know why there's a... Uh, <laughs> well, that's in there. That should be in this one. That's my um, my imperial or standard. What do you want to call it? We call it imperial over here. Um, for your key or your, you know, your five eight and whatever nine sixteen spanners, we call them imperial. Um, oh, there's all my old crappy screwdrivers. But oh, my pliers draw is <laughs> chock it Billy closes. Um. It's um, 3 8 sockets and spare half inch drive stuff, long ones. Here's my half inch drive sockets here. Um, I've got another blue set, but I got pissed off with it because I couldn't put it anywhere. I had it sitting over there on the shelf open. But I took the spanners out of it, which are in here. And it's one of the sets I bought when I was in Australia at one point. Um, so I just cut the back off it where the spanner thing, so I could, at least I could get it in there and cut it in half. <laughs> but I could still sort this stuff out when I get everything back in there. Um, so I've just been picking up crap. Um, I've got all my body hammers back in here and um, dollies and bits and pieces. That's chocker I need to sort it out properly but I've just been putting things in there. Um, vice grips and bits and pieces and then my power tools when I pick them all up. But I blew a drill up the other day, I'm pretty sure it's dead. Um, Pretty sure it's dead. Unfortunately, I had a, haven't had a chance to have a decent look at it. This is one of my original Black & Deckers from like 2014 or something like that. Um, that the diet charger died on and, and that's why I bought another drill that was this, used the same batteries. So I had another charge, but yeah, this is completely dead now. See the light still goes, but oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's smoking, she's dead. Um, so that's a pain in the ass. I might strip it down and just see if I can do anything with it to get it going again. But that's dead, which is a bit of a pain. Um, but it's mates. The impact's okay. And I've still got the other cordless. But it's a bit suspect too because I noticed when, if I put a lot of paint on it, um, this one here, it's... It's um, not as good as it should be either, if you know what I mean. So, like this one here is, I only bought last year, part way through last year, 2020. Yeah, so, yeah, I bought that part way through 2020 to, um, so I had another charger to um, charge the, all the batteries. So, but yeah, this isn't, when you this has been working hard, it's, it's not the best either. It starts overheating. Um, and smoking, whereas some of the other ones will just shut off. For this is these like they'll work too hard, and then they'll try and burn themselves out, which is a bit of a pain. You know, I'm having just having to clean up, picking tools up again. I actually started myself to make myself another one of those lucky blocks, two or well, acrylic blocks. It's a little tiny one. But I've just been picking stuff up because I've just had crap and tools everywhere. Like I've even got tools in here. But this is um, 
Whitworth, English, old English like bike stuff. I've got a few spanners and bits and pieces. And that big red socket set's got with Whitworth sockets in it too. Um, which I've got spread everywhere as well, a lot of stuff. I've actually got some polishing wheels from a dollar grinder actually. I think the uh, the jeweler's rouge is actually at Dad's, so I need to go pick that up at some point. Um, punches, which I'm going to put back in the thing. But yeah, I've got sockets spread everywhere out of this too. Set. As you can see, this is all uh, Whitworth sockets. Anyway. I'll stop crapping on, I'll keep cleaning up, and then once I've got a bit more sorted and got a few more tools away, um, and just have a bit of a general straighten up, I'm not going to have a full on clean, I just want to get some tools out of the road and just have them organise myself a little bit. This is where I just love to be able to sort this stuff out, get that over there. You know, like I've got lots of little boxes to put bits and pieces and bolts and stuff in it, but it just has to get some time and to get some help to get it sorted. Um, and because it's this time of year at the moment, they're doing a lot of groundwork. So the owner of the vehicle, because he's got so many, he's got his finger in so many pies, um, he does a lot of groundwork for the uh, some of the farms he's got part ownership in. So he's sort of busy doing that. So that makes it a bit more awkward to get extra hand. Um, but yeah, we'll need to move this stuff and get these Tools finished setting up and bits and pieces, but we'll get there. But anyway, I've got this big three quarter dry socket set, which is not mine, and I've kind of cleaned it up a little bit. I haven't cleaned up all the sockets, but man, it's had a hard time sitting in the weather and the shit at some point. But anyway, I'll keep cleaning. Right, morning everybody. So, it's Monday, um, we dropped the body on the chassis yesterday morning, just briefly. Um, I didn't really get to show you much more here Saturday. Basically all I did was add a clean up, sorted my tools out, so I've got sort of spare stuff, files, chisels, you know, a bit, bit of the woodwork in here, sandpaper, like rolled sandpaper down there, and flat sheet stuff in the uh, blocks and bits and pieces. Mask, you know, roll locks, discs, you know, a bit of the other stuff here, drills and whatever, just to try and give me some more bent space. Just try and try and, you know, try and get it on top of some of the stuff eventually, you know, as I'll try and work things out and work out the more bent space. We still want to move this stuff, but just in the meantime, before and we, until we move it, done that. So you can see we've got the body's just sitting there, I've got to put the bolts through it and all that sort of stuff. I'll do that very shortly. I'll see a bit more to sort out. I'm going to throw that uh, plywood up on top of the uh, dolly thing we made, the body. That'll just give me a bit more room to do things too. It'll give me those two stands back for other stuff as well. So yeah, um, you've got the wheels back on here. I think I've found the front seals, I'm not sure if it's them or not. But I think it's either them or the back ones. I was digging through the parts. And I've actually got in here soaking. They've been in here since Saturday. Just to try and get the, some of the guns and stuff off me. This is them, I think. I'll have to do some more research on that when I get them cleaned up. Um, is that right? that'll work. So yeah, I've still got a bit of stuff here. Just straighten up, sort out, and whatever. But I had a fairly good just sort out, just to try and give me some more space. You know, so not so many tools on the workbenches. Hopefully, at some point we can actually get a bit of top on this workbench too. Somewhere along the line, um, it's just life. You know, sometimes these things take time. But anyway, so I've got some clear plastic on here. Um, the bolt holes sort of line up at the moment. I haven't gone through and checked everything. Needs a bit of a wiggle around. That's close. So I'll get that done, get it bolted down. Then I'll get the doors back on here. Um, then I can take that, that brace and stuff out of the road. 
and um, get down on this bodywork um, and get it finished up um, and stuff like that. I may be able to uh, lift the body up too. I'll put the actual um, axles up on jack stands, if you know what I mean, gives it a little bit higher to work on. But and now it's not over high. Um, it would be nice if it was a little bit higher, but it's, not, it's at a pretty good height you now to work at. Um, but yeah, so. So yeah, at least I better get in there and get this done now. Get the doors on it. Yeah, as I said, get the doors on it, get, get it all sorted out. Anyway, I'll stop waffling. I'll get some shit sorted, find the bolts for this. It should be over here in amongst the stuff. And, uh, Get it bolted down. Righty guys, so welcome back a bit again. Um, so I got the body, I got all the bolts in and it's bolted down fairly hard. Um, I could possibly get a little bit more but you know like it's, it's snug down pretty tight. So this was the door that was giving me the problems why I wanted to put the body back on to um, do the final body work. Now it's it's fitting okay down there like it's it's definitely not as bad as what it was when the body was off because um, it just wasn't holding its shape and it wasn't obviously because it wasn't pulled down in here and you know and the likes of and then down in the front seat and then obviously the bolts that bolt down and right at the front of the uh, cow um, it was just it obviously changed this obviously completes completely changes the, the shape of the way the body sits so it's not dead perfect down there, but I can do a little bit of tweaking with that. Um, the biggest issue at the moment is actually this gap has closed up. Um, so I'm going to take it off. I'm going to um, down in here. I'm going to try and push this panel out a little bit because it is only just attached. So I'm going to try and get it to bend out a little bit. Um, I may space the door out one more time, I'm not sure, um, with shims like this, but I might also just see if I can, um, just see if I can even up this gap a bit down here, because it looks like it's actually been over squashed, so I might just see if I can, with a hammer, um, just knock this edge back a little bit and open this gap up, um, and I could possibly just shim this back one more too and here just to bring it back a little bit um, that would just I'll close this gap up and open that gap up a little bit um, it's a wee bit wonky down there it's not bad at the top and it's not bad at the bottom but in the middle it's got it's almost like this panel's been when they've made it they've overbeaten it in the center and it's squashed out or something like that I will play with it see if I can make it better before I shift it around um, too much um, but yeah at least then I can play with this one and put all the rest on and uh, get everything fitting up and then we can do the rest of the body filler down the sides and um, see if we can get this door looking a bit a bit nicer um, I think it'll be I think it'll be okay with a few tweaks um, it's Definitely, it doesn't fit as nice as I thought it did, um, but I don't know with the body being off again and then back on again. Um, I don't know how much everything's sort of twisted around and flexed around, if you know what I mean. Um, so, yeah, I may just take these off just in case it is holding something funny. So, I'll unscrew these first and then we'll have another quick look before I make a final decision but well uh, yeah it needs a little bit of addressing but it's not bad now, I can dial it in and then we can do the rest of the body work well I'm still fighting with the doors <laughs> it's funny how things don't fit like they did the first time when you get a bolt and everything back on but yeah we'll keep playing um, I think I might do a bit of shrinking on this um, just because it's all sort of Bowed up. I'm trying to see if I can get it to flatten off a little bit. Um, I'm not quite sure whether I'm going to do it with heat or whether I've actually hit it with this before through here. Just 
just try to whack it down a little bit because it is sort of it's sort of I don't know it's over bulged or something um, I'll try and do a little bit with it later on but I'll get all these other doors fitting properly I've, um, no I haven't had that back on since I've played with it a little bit um, but yeah now even on this I've got it too close a gap at the bottom but I, I haven't got a spacer in the bottom I think I think that had two spaces of these shims I made up I think this had one I just put it on without one for a start off just to see where I was at I just couldn't remember I had the back ones marked but I didn't I've obviously forgotten to mark the front ones um, but I'll get it but I'll put a spacer in there see how that fits because it's opened this gap up here too it's not as bad I might have to uh, I might actually make a plate up for here too and just see if I can get this to pull down a wee bit harder maybe because it's pulling into the wood I might make up a little plate and put in there both sides because everything else has sort of got a plate underneath it whereas those don't um, or like a big square washer or something or sort something out um, just to get this everything fitting properly again um, I'm sure I had it fitting a lot better than it did um, mind you I haven't put the other doors back on the other side yet I've just been working on this one and I thought I'll get this front and the front one fitting just make sure that they both fit okay and then I'll move to the other side this is better now than, than I think than it definitely was when the body was off so that's a good thing but yeah we just need to get it dialed in and I um I have I've hammered this back a little bit and I've come in here and I've tried to um, get th this edge to come up to try and such doesn't collect um, just to try and make it fit this shape better um, but yeah I, th I think it's just it's very I don't know, it's like it's bulged out here and rolls back in I want to try and maybe just see if I can flatten it off a little bit we'll see how we get on I'll fit it again maybe a couple of times and just double check and see whether I need to pull this down I just don't understand why it's got so much of a bulge and then it rolls back into here but you'll play with it alrighty this thing is kicking my ass and it's just being a bitch it really is it shows how much these wooden bodies move even though it's been put back down bolted back down um, I've taken like when I had the shims in this door and on like I mean on here and the ones I had in behind here to fit this I've taken the one out of the bottom at the moment um, this door was way the frick up here like had a gap a mile wide down here it's just oh my god and nothing is fitting it just sucks so I'm just literally fighting with everything trying to get this freaking thing to fit again I've got this door kind of fitting but it won't freaking you know it won't close um, like if I push it in with my leg here it actually fits quite nice apart from it's a little a little bit tucked in at the bottom but I think I do remember that um, everything else sort of fits quite good but it, from what it was originally like I haven't changed um, any of the shims I, I don't think all these back ones were still in here like all the ones that were actually on the body and behind here I slipped them all on behind the metal work anyway originally um, so like they hit nothing's changed there and well, even this one here, like because it was so far up, I've had to take that bottom one out anyway. But man, it just everything has just moved dramatically. It's absolutely crazy. Look at the gap down there. Like, and it's a stupid thing. Like, all these bits and pieces were in here when I'd done that end scene piece that I used for the end of my videos a lot of the time. All those gaps were all done then it was just after I finished making that door I had everything in there 
you know, <laughs> fitting really good. <laughs> and then, like, you know, not, I don't know, whatever, whenever it was, we were after that when I finished doing all the other bits and pieces to it. And then we pulled the body off to start doing this stuff. Once I got that convertible top made, um, man, everything has moved so much. Wooden body cars, wooden body frame structure cars just suck. Alrighty, I'm kind of making some headway, but um, this thing is kicking my butt. I'm getting frustrated with it, so it's well, it's about four o'clock, so I'm just going to leave it for the rest of the day. I think. Just think about things. I've kind of got this back door fitting, but it's still garbage down here. <laughs> it's not quite there as much. Um, this is still crap, but it's, oh, I don't know. I've taken shims out of it and played around with it. I, don't, I just can't believe how much the, this, the, body, the wood in this body has moved with being undone not being clamped down and then you know being set up there and then being put back here how much it's actually physically moved and changed shape it's incredible um, and it's just an absolute pain in the ass like it's going to take me at least another day to try and get these doors just to fit I'm, I'm sure of it I you know, just playing undoing changing things but if I can get this one here to come back a little bit I'll, I think I'll be right as long as I don't run into any other issues. Um, so yeah, I'll turn the camera around on. Yeah, I think if I can get this one here to come back, I'll be right with this one. Um, but yeah, those, those two there, God, they're gonna fight me. Um, I thought this one was bad enough. Um, this is sort of fitting okay, but I've, I've got to obviously play with it. I haven't put it back on to recheck. Um, if I want to check, Obviously, what I said earlier, that that hump in the door when they've whenever they've, they've joined it in like this for some strange reason, that it's just it's the shapes. It just feels weird. Um, feels like it's transitioning. But I'm just just looking at this door. Um, it it kind of does that. It runs sort of into this panel. Like of this, it's, it's kind of fitting okay, but it's not. Um, you can see it's um, needs to. Well, it doesn't really need to come out at the bottom, but it, it needs to come up at the top. And oh, it's just it's just weird. Um, I'm gonna have to bend this in too. I don't know. I don't know what's what's moved too much. I don't know if it's sprung in or out or or what. <laughs> Because <laughs> see the thing is too, when I had um, the body off, I put all this extra material in here too. Like, all this stuff is, is new under here, all this floor stuff and bits and pieces under here. So it's not to say that it's holding it in a different way now, even though it's bolted down the same. It's not to say it's, you know, it's, it's holding it in a different shape. Um, so yeah. It's just a matter of just keep playing and tweaking and bending and whatever and hope like heck I can make something out of it without fighting too much. But anyway, I'm going to leave it for today because I'm getting frustrated. Just think about a few things and see if I can, you know, clear my head and come back fresh in the morning. Because it's just, it's just kicking my butt. Especially this one here because I can't even get the bloody thing to close properly without forcing it. No, nice, but it just, should be to just... I do this, you know, not have to worry about it, but that's, I've actually got to force it closed, so, yes, yeah, the hinges, like it's like the hinges of all well, this post's twisted or something, I don't know, that's hella frustrating, I'll get it, but it's just going to take time, and it's time that I was hoping to, I just put the doors back on, maybe a little jiggle here and there, and, and then start doing this body work you know and start blending it into each other and maybe tweak you know you have to tweak the corners a little, a little bit because I knew a couple of them weren't quite the right shape but, but oh god it's frustrating anyway we'll get there oh morning everybody just got to work 
It's safe this thing kicks my ass again. <laughs> Far out. I just can't believe how much that body's moved. It's crazy. Anyway. Well, have a look. See if I can get my head around it today. Um, crazy how much this body's moved. Um, it is what it is. We'll get it. It's just going to take time, unfortunately. So I'm going to get this one to move back. Backing up a little bit at the bottom. So I need to space it and hinge at the bottom a little bit more than the top one to get it to. It's got to come back and up a little bit at the bottom just to get that gap lined up. And it just wants to come back. Probably about a mil, probably about a mil at the top. And a couple at the bottom, which will bring that round. I haven't fitted that, I'm not even going to worry about that one at the moment. <laughs> Let's get these rest fitting and then we'll come back to that. Um, so this door's going to come down by the looks of it. God, what's going on here? Weird. Mind you, when they made that, actually when they made that piece of the year, now that I'm looking at that it's got actually body filler on it, it is too high, but they haven't made this deep enough, which is a bit of a pain. I think I actually did a better job <laughs> with the door I made. So I'm going to have to fill that a little bit. That's no biggie. Um, but yeah, I need to get that door fitting too. And this one probably... It's okay, but I just can't get the bastard closed properly. It's like it's, I don't know, we'll work it out. It's like the hinges aren't deep enough at this edge. Because I can't come any further back than that. Like, you know, we've got a hole inch and something which I can't work out why it's moved so much it's weird like it's flexing the whole door I wonder if I can I don't know if I actually split because I've got packers in behind here I wonder if I cut the back off the I'll cut the back off shim and just get distorted because that'll pull it around a little bit you know like a millimeter here will make a big difference here um you know you'd be surprised how much of a difference it makes i'll just see um, that's obviously rubbing down there for some bloody reason so obviously the bottom of the door is hitting somewhere you might have to trim a little bit off the bottom of the wood because something's moved. But anyway, we'll get it. We'll unscrew and get back to it. I'll bring you back when I've hopefully got one footing. Righty, so I figured out. Whoa, stop changing light on me. <laughs> I figured out kind of what's going on with this door. This is the the driver's door for this vehicle, being right-hand drive. Um, now, the top hinge is pulling in too far here, and it wasn't quite deep enough here, because um, basically I undone the screws on this one and just sort of sat it in there with the bottom hinge done up. It needed to come back in a little bit at the back too, and it's probably not too bad down here. We'll, we'll fix this first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some of that construction adhesive to glue these couple little pieces in here. And then I'll reshape once it's glued in about half an hour, 40 minutes type thing. Glue that on there, clamp it down, clamp, whatever. Make sure it glues down nice and hard. 40 minutes later, I should better shave off what I don't need and try and get this a little bit flatter in here. I had it tapered too much back in here and it was just... Pulling the hinge around, funny, for the way the body's sitting now. Why? Who freaking knows? 
and I took a little bit off here just with the sander, just just brought it down a wee bit more level. Um, I might need to take a little bit more off this side. I was just having a, I'll just grind a bit more of this off, and then I'll take a little bit more off here. Um, and that should fix my problem for this door, I think. And then I should better jiggle it and get it right. Um, because what was happening was the hinges were coming, they were hard back, and I couldn't get them to come any further back. Um, so what I've actually done is I've actually relieved a little bit, pulled this around and I just relieved a little bit of the metal on the here, just a touch, and I've just sanded this back off, hardly anything, just to give it a little bit more if it needs it. Um, I probably could do the same on here too, if needed, you know, just basically just run the die grinder up the back of that with that nice little fine tip one just to just to tick that it make the knock that back edge off just knock that edge off back edge off and it's you know I could just run over here with, with the uh, the little die grinding flat disc thing and just take you know like even half a millimeter type sort of thing just to let it come back a little bit further if it needs it um, but we'll fix this first get this one here leveled out a little bit more um, I might have to take it back, back into here but if I think if I glue these down and just shave this back flat again with this just knock the, basically this edge off so it's flat again screw that these two back in obviously mark those two holes I hadn't actually drilled that one I didn't realise that but obviously when I was just fitting, fitting I didn't really need Every um, screw in there, three, is, you know, th three was plenty. Um, but yeah, that'll fix that problem um, because this construction stuff is really, really strong. That's what's gluing that beam together. And I used it a lot on the back of this car. Um, I didn't use it for the bows. Probably could have, but it's such a bitch, bitch of a stuff to work with. Um, but it probably would actually be probably really the best thing. Because, but it was just messy. Because it sort of expands out like foam, but if I put a couple of dollops on here, clamp it down with that clamp, it won't go anywhere. And um, if it does push up a little bit, it doesn't matter anyway, because I'm going to send it off flat. Um, so that should fix this door, I think. <laughs> so that's where I'm at at the moment. Um, I'll get this done. I'll come back to you when I've hopefully got it sanded back and throw them back on. And, um, and while I'm, that's gluing up, I'll start having a bit more of a look at some of these other doors and just see why they aren't fitting quite so good. Right, glue it on, we'll let it set. Right, I'm just in the midst of working on this door. Um, I've still got the other one clamped up. Um, so I'll put another shim in here and then I run into the issue of this here rubbing. So I've just uh, only taken a little bit off here and I'm taking a little bit off the back edge of the um, steel piece there, this piece, this piece here. I've just chamfered that edge a little bit so it doesn't catch anymore. Um, so it's going to just, it might be just touching. Might have to clear it a little bit more. But now I'm going to have to, because that sort of, I wouldn't say it's brought me 100% right, but it's improved the situation. Um, but I'm now going to bring, I'm going to put um, a shim top and bottom just to space this door out here um, and hopefully I'm not worried about this edge because that's determined by the uh, catch um, but that'll pull that round it'll pull this gap a little bit closer in theory it should give me just a little bit more clearance down this edge and then we'll, we'll go from there um, but I've got to go, I'm just going to shoot away for a few minutes and do something and then I'll be back and then uh, Yeah, so that's that Now this weekend coming up hoping to um, Obviously depending on how finances go because it's Rachel's not working again, so it's a little bit tighter at the game at the moment um, But these the burnouts which would normally be part of the Rev Rock and Hop are still on at the Lawrence, which is um, a wee way away on Saturday. And then I'm also maybe hoping to um, mate with the green charge if you go back and look through the 
the videos, and I think it's under Harry Lennon Racing. Um, my mate, he's going to there's the local drags are on on Sunday. Um, why the other car shows aren't allowed to be on, but these pieces, things are allowed to be on, it's beyond me. Um, it's because, yeah, like that Rev Rock and Hop, the, technically long I have the car show on, but they're still going to have the burnouts on, which is just weird. Um, but I can see what's coming. All the people that would normally go to the car show in their cars are going go to the, go to the, the burnouts in their cars. So people can still walk around their cars. <laughs> it's going to be stupid because it's going to be a car show but not a car show. It's just going to be a whole heap of cars parked up. And I'll bet you the people will be wandering around because they'll be all taking their old, old stuff. It, it's, it's, I think it's, a, it's a, a funny way to get around not having it because it's normally a three-day thing. So, yeah, they're, they're trying to have something but not have something. <laughs> So yeah, hopefully get a decent look around that and maybe yeah, do a bit of do some videos of the burnouts like I did last year and um, hopefully possibly we'll see how it falls um, with obviously financially wise um, and try and go to the drag racing as well um, and get a bit of footage there. And I, whether I tag it on to two videos together, I don't know. I'll just or I'll make just a couple of little separate ones. Anyway, so I'll shoot away, do what I'm going to do, and then I'll come back and hopefully get this stuff sorted out. Um, yeah, I'm glad I, I left here about four o'clock yesterday because it was just, it was frustrating me, and I just, because it was frustrating, I couldn't get a clear head, whereas I come back here this morning and looked at a couple of things, and I was like, yeah, right, well, I can see what I've got to do now. Sometimes, if you get pissed off and frustrated with something, just bugger off, leave it alone, um, and... Just get your head clear, just do something completely different. Go home and watch a couple of movies or something like that. Just sit back, relax, just get it completely out of your head. Do something that's going to completely distract you and come back to it the next day fresh or, you know, even a few hours later. Bugger off, leave it alone. Go concentrating on something else, you know, like Arco does, goes out bush. Which I can't wait to see, um, hopefully, some new videos from him where he's out in the uh, bush and the sticks in the snow with his dog. Um, I quite enjoy those videos when he just gets out there and just, he just, you know, it's more of a, um, I know it's not a car video, but it's more of a just, it's a personal one depth you know, to him. He sometimes he talks a lot about his, his things that are going on, um, you know, and he, sometimes he talks about, you know, obviously the, the problems with depression and, anxieties and all that sort of thing because of all the stuff that he goes through um you know it's it, it's just i think it, it's it's a good and refreshing video but it's also just shows him a bit more in depth you know and yeah i, I did do a couple walking videos through bush tracks and bits and pieces last year when we went away on a couple of trips but we just haven't had been able to do it this year um you know hoping to at some point, better do a bit more of that sort of stuff or go to car shows again. But yeah, like those personal in depth ones when he just goes out in the bush and just sits with his dog and mucks around and sometimes he comes across cars and bits and pieces. I don't know where he is, there's a lot of stuff and a lot of old wrecks and bits and pieces in the bush. Sometimes he drags them home. But just, just cool different videos, you know what I mean? So hopefully we get to see a bit more of that sort of side now that he's coming into winter. Okay, when he's not working on cars. Um, I know he's, he's hoping to get back into that stuff. He's been just so busy setting up this new venture for him and, you know, like the one for Heidi, um, which was Rachel was meant to help with if we ever got there. But, you know, we'll try to get there at some point. But anyway, I'm going to go do my little job and then I'll be back. I'm winning. I think I've got one. <laughs> Right, where are we? Oh, let's lock that freaking light. Exposure. So I think I've got this one beat, except I might just have to shave a little bit off the bottom of that edge of that door. I think I'm pretty good. Um, gap's fairly reasonable. You know, it's a wooden body car, it's gonna move around, so I don't think it's worth chasing and being super stupid, but I think that's pretty reasonable. It's just, it's tight at the bottom edge. 
of here. Um, so I'll just, I'll clearance it a little bit, I'll just shave a little bit off. If I have to pull the door off and uh, I put a little bit of weld back along there, if I split, happen to split it, that is what it is. Um, the only other thing too is I could possibly bang some screws in here and pull this down because um, I'm not sure if this is actually hard pulled down this panel and that might just pull that down a little bit I'm not sure on that I'll try that first I'll put a couple even just tech screws in it and just rip it pull it down so we can pull it down to that if you know what I mean because that's actually this isn't actually attached which I don't think it's attached just looking at it um, so that could be part of my problem like these needs to be screws in here too we might bang a couple of tech screws in here and just see what happens. That might just give me a little bit of clearance in that front corner. Um, but apart from that, it's not it's not pushing dead in, but it's so minimal on the lock. It's probably actually going to help a little bit, you know, because it's going to stop it from jiggling around. It's just got a little bit of tension on it, which I don't think is ever going to be a problem. I'd actually I'd prefer it like it to be a little bit like that than uh, anything else. So I'm happy with that. Um, so yeah, I'll pull that down, check that. But I'm happy with the basic fitment. I'm not going to screw with that around with that at the moment. I'm going to get this other front door fitting. So that stuff's glued up. Now, um, this here hasn't quite gone off this stuff, but I'll just scrape it off. I'll shave these back with the uh, little disc sander on the right angle door grinder. Shave these back and then see if I can get this to sit a bit better. I'll just basically taper it back from this edge back into this and um, see how that fits. Because um, I think that's part of the big problem with it. And then we'll see. You know, I'll get that fitting, test it, see where we go from there. Because I'm going to have to. Once I've got these two screws and I can recheck these screw holes and hopefully I, if I just put a, a nice fine one through um, the rest will line up and hopefully I don't split this stuff that's why I glued it down first um, hopefully it doesn't split on me um, but it is what it is because like this stuff's been a bit of a pain but it's all glued together so it shouldn't go anywhere but um, yeah so I'll get into it I'll stop waffling and I'll bring you back if I've got this one fit. <laughs> Righty, this front door. Now I think my problem is that the screw holes, unfortunately, in here now just aren't in the right place. I actually thought I might have had to shift them back this way. But when I close the door with the hinge in place, um, I'm not 100% sure. I'm just, I'll, I need to just check it a few times because... What was happening is I put a bit of tape in and you can see where the door was hitting. Um, it keep banging on the bottom and I couldn't get it to sort itself out. So basically what I'm doing, coming along here, put a clamp on it, trying to get it in the right place. I don't know, I'll come back to you. Right, so I've got the clamp underneath that body line. All right, so this door can't drop and it should be fairly even underneath there um, so when I look at it try and show you this. can so the screw holes don't line up anymore but it's actually I thought I would have had to pull it the hinge um, I thought I would have had to actually pull the hinge this way but it's actually wants the other way which is um, all good so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some little square bits of wood or whatever, or some little dowels. Use a bit of that, um, again a bit of that construction adhesive, poke the timber in there, flip that cure off, clean it off, redrill the holes, and, uh, and see if we can get this door to fit basically. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually leave it here like this, and uh, well, once I glue the holes up I'm going to leave it here like this, and, um, and then redrill it and screw it. In this position and hopefully that fixes any issues with that door um, I'll still get to tweak that corner out a little bit and maybe 
try and do something with that. It sort of kind of pokes out here. It does, but it doesn't, if you know what I mean. Like I can push it back in a little bit so it's not quite so bad. Um, but this corner actually needs to poke out, but I think that's just because I've got it tucked in a bit tight. The rest of it's not actually that bad. I think I've just got a bit much roll in that bottom corner, which I can fix. Um, you know, and if it, again, if it's, it's one of those things, it's going to twist flex anyway, um, so it's never going to be 100% right. It's just a wooden, it's a wooden car. It's, you know, what it was, what they were like. So then these ones will be fit and reasonable. I might see if I can just tweak that corner and it'll just even roll it in a little bit and we'll, we'll catch it with a little bit of, maybe a little bit of body filler down here, but I've got, I've got to be careful I don't build this out, if you know what I mean, and make that look weird. That's just the way they come to. So I can catch it a little bit, blend it in. Um, so yeah, we'll get in there and then I'll come back to this door. And then once we've got this fitting, then I'll come to that one and see what we need to do there. Because I, I still think I might have to shrink, like I said yesterday. Um, you can actually see it. That looks fairly, we should get a bit of light in the right place, eh? Yeah, you can see how it's all weird and ripply there. Um, like I could just fill that with body filler, but I think it's too, too full. And when they've done this weird attachment here, some of that's my weld being built up, but this was already like this. I don't know why they put the skin on. Instead of putting the skin over and wrapping it around, they butted it up to the edge, which is really weird. I don't know why they did that. Um, so yeah, I might shrink a little bit through here and just see if I can pull it back down in a few spots and hammer it. I've got to be careful. I can get to a certain point of it, but I can't get to all of it to hammer it flat. So even if I can just pull the panel down a little bit and then so we can blend it back in nicer, if you know what I mean. Um, it's just one of those things. See how we get on. But it's kind of queer. It's just kind of queer. Yeah, it's another shot that you can sort of see it there with the reflection of the light. You know, stupid shit like this. Just in some ways I feel like making another skin, but and doing it again but it's already made I'll see if I can improve it and we'll put some body for it because you know this is this is freaking this is huge difference here you now we'll see if we can at least do something with it pull this up maybe pull that down a little bit so we can fix that a bit because it's just it's just it's knowing that there could be an issue after all the body work's done if you know what I mean like this flexes and cracks and bust a piece out, you know, five years down the track, or well, it just looks shit. So I'm trying to avoid that shit. <laughs> like there's not, like nowhere in this is there a horrendous amount of body filler. There's a lot covering the top, but it's not thick. You know, it's a, it's a skim, you know, enough to take out the imperfections of a hundred years of abuse and hand making these doors and me not having a planishing hammer to do that. Now, first time using an English wheel, you know, I think I did pretty good. <laughs> you know, as time progresses, I'll get better. I'll be get better at finishing them. Um, but we'll get this door fixed. Right, I'm going to let that... Uh... Kind of better, maybe. Anyway, I'm gonna let that um, glue harden up a bit more. Actually, I screwed the top hinge on that front door and we end up pretty much the same place. So I've just re-plugged those holes again with some more. I'm gonna let them cure overnight, let it get hard, hard. Um, I just don't think it was hard enough. Um, and then I'll, I've redone, I've actually done the bottom ones as well. So I'm gonna try and re-screw that all the holes in that door again and see if I can get it to be where I wanted it because um, when I did it I end up keep hitting that for some reason when I did the screws up and that top hinge holding the door where I wanted it to be after I tightened it up the hinge ended up basically the back in the same spot um, and it was hitting that thing and it was actually pushing the door up 
and I even had it clamped in the position I wanted to, which is weird. So that's why I thought, oh, we'll fill the bottom holes up as well. I'll clamp the door in position up there and on the front cowl. I'll put a couple of clamps in it. So it's sitting where I want it to sit. I'll maybe put a couple of packers in it and then I'll drill four screw holes in it again. Hopefully, and it's in the right place this time and it doesn't want to kick down or do anything stupid. Um, so I'll, I'll leave that back door alone too until tomorrow. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to actually have a play with that, with the, the funny door that's got the, all the damage, well, just poorly executed when they put the skin on it. See if I can get that one to fit properly and maybe do a little bit of shrinking on it and um, just go from there and attack those other ones again in the morning. I was hoping to get them all back on today, but oh, it's, just, it's one of those things that sometimes it just takes so many steps to get something right again. It's unbelievable, but you know, it's amazing how much time you can waste just on and off, on and off, trying to work something out why it's sitting clear, you know. But anyway, because yeah, I even ground a bit off the bottom of the door, thinking it was just hitting, but now then I realise it's actually not. It's actually, for some reason, it cocked down low again, so I don't know. It's weird. You know, when I'm in ground something off the bottom of the door, I actually mean on the wood. In the structure, I just shaved a bit off it, just so it wasn't quite so deep. Thinking that maybe it was just hanging low or something stupid, but yeah, hold on. These things are set to try and fight you. So, we'll, um, yeah, I'll play with those other doors, see if I can get that to bring a fit. Right, I've managed to get this door to fit right. Now, you can see that bulge in here. I'll, what I'll do, I'll see if I can shrink that and get it to sort of flatter. I think it went up with not quite a nice result. It fits fairly well. When that's closed, that's look, it's a little bit out at the bottom, but it's not much. So I think by the time I flatten it off, it should be good. Right, well, let's shrink this door. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to shrink it through here. And hopefully just suck it down a little bit. You know? Well, only a little bit, like a quarter of an inch. Or at least, so we can just hopefully pull it back into that shape a bit. Put it back on the car and have a wee look. I might come back and shrink these spots and just see if I can just suck it in a little flatter. It's way better than it ever was. Like as you can see, I'm touching 
quite a lot, you know. There's a lot of mist, but there's a lot. Like I wouldn't never been touching. You know, like I would have been touching way up here and then back here. Like it, you know, it would have been. It wouldn't have been anything like this. You know, just running across here like like I did, without trying to go around the panel. So it's way better than it was. At least the, I think the transition will look better from you know the back guard of the wheel arch into this door. I'll throw it on the level we look. We look down and see whether I think I need to play with it more. I'm thinking we might come back and do these, but we might not need to. Right. right, let's just see. I, it's not bad. I think I still need to shrink it some more. Um, I'll really look back here. I'll just, just put a clamp on that. So. Somewhere about there. Oh, it mightn't be bad. I just look in here. Transition from here to here. It sort of comes in and then it's bulging back out. And I just I think I need to flatten it more. Um, down here is probably not too bad, but I think if I'm going to pull it in here, it's got to come in down here anyway. And just see if I can get that suck in a bit lower. I'll come out a little bit. We'll suck it in out here, I think. On these highs. That'll help flatten some of this other stuff out again. And out here, I, I'm still struggling, but I, at least I might get actually coming in dolly around and behind it, which will help. But I think that's going to come up pretty nice. I should have done this right from the word go, but I was humming and hawing. No, because they had a lot. They had actually had a lot of body filler in it, and I took it out of here. And I was just looking at it, and I thought, mm, yeah, maybe that might be how it's meant to be. But now, the more I look at it, because this comes around, and then all of a sudden it's going to go bloop, and then the rest of this is all, you know, pretty flat. Now, look, it's got some curve in it, but there's no major bloop. It's a, it's a fairly smooth transition from one panel to the next to the, the next. You know what I mean? It's not, it's not really rounding any of it. But this has got too much shape this way. You know? So we'll pull it out. And that'll flatten it a little bit this way too. So yeah, I think it's worth doing again a little bit further out. And we might be able to, we might be able to get in there with a, with a dolly in behind it. And, you know, make it a, a bit nicer. But it's, it's never going to be bad. Or hurry, is it? Alrighty, as you can see, I've done quite a bit. Done a bit more shrinking. All mainly in this area. I was going to do a wee bit more out here, but I didn't really. Well, I don't think I need to. Um, it's definitely not as round. I've pulled some more height out of here, so it doesn't look quite so round. I think it's quite a bit more flatter through here. I think. I'm trying to show you there if I can. So we'll throw it back on the car again, we'll have another wee look. Just see if I do need to do anything more to it. I think the transition's not going to be so, you know, bulged out as what it was. I've flattened this off a heap, as you guys can probably see. Um, it's definitely not, it's not perfect smooth, but it's, it's, it's not really um, ugly, if you know what I mean, like it's, well, it's definitely not flat, but it's, it's it's no major as humps or hollows in it. So when I do put some body filler through here, it's, again, it's not going to be terribly thick. I might come back along here and just dolly this a little bit more. So you might have to take a little bit more out of here. It feels high compared with the rest of it. Just maybe pull it back through here before I do take it off. While still got it sitting here. This actually feels quite good through here now. Um, yeah. I'll throw it on the car, we'll have a look. It's easy to pull it off again. Anyway, we'll come back in a minute. 
Righty, so you can see I've been doing a lot of shrinking in this, trying to pull it back just to flatten the whole thing out. Um, and I've been doing a lot of planishing. I've actually, I'm not sure if you've seen me, been switching to this dolly and running it in here and then obviously actually having it on, on the outside and just running it backwards and forwards across around these areas, like, you know, backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, and just planishing it with a hammer. Um, if you guys don't know what planishing is, <laughs> go look it up. <laughs> but basically, you're holding the dolly on one side, the hammer on the other side, and you're not even hitting it hard. You just ta -ta 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 -ta. you just going like this down. Basically, and it's just using the between that and that to just flatten it out and just try and take any. You're just going over it and over it and over it and over it without hitting it hard. Just basically, it's planishing it. Um, it's like what a a pl ear planishing hammer does. Just you know, you just got to do it so many times like that. You know, and it's a slow process, but I've managed to, f where I've shrunk the crap out of it, so basically, you know, you heat that spot up, bash it in, put the, the uh, dolly in behind, run around here, so like you hit that in, run around here, sort of about this area, with your hammer, beat it flat, and then cool it down, and then I've just been running over that area with the planishing hammer, you know, once I've done a couple of, couple of shrinks, no, just planishing it, planishing it, planishing it until I get it fairly smooth. Um, it's pretty reasonable. It's going to need body filler. Like, it's, it's no doubt about it because I can't get back up into this piece too. Um, you know, anything for around this area back in, I can't planish it. You know, I can put that funny-looking spoon in there and try and even it out um, to a reasonable level, but I can't come in here like this and um, actually hammer it like and and do it like really finely I guess you'd call it a, a, a very light hammering um, planishing basically um, you know and trying to smooth that out as the best I can and try and keep it as even and unwavy as possible um, it's looking it's pretty reasonable like it's definitely not perfect you can see the little ripples in it but it's 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 fairly flat if you know what I mean so I think I think I'm far enough, I'm not 100% sure, I might have to do a little bit more, but I'm going to throw it back in the car, have a quick, another quick look, um, it's about 5 o'clock so I don't think I'm going to do a lot more tonight, I'm getting pretty buggered, I'm just tamarin on this bloody thing for, I don't know, a good hour plus, um, probably an hour and a half I guess, just screwing with this thing, um, but I've had to come back a long way from where it was initially bowled just to pull all that material out and squ basically squash it up and squash it up and squash it up but flatten it out at the same time um but that's cool um that's that's fairly reasonable you know I might, I might have to chase you know just a few more areas i don't think i'm gonna have to go too much further this way and it's pretty flat but we'll have a look yeah i, I might just have to come along here maybe doesn't feel too bad though, you know, it might be a little high, I could probably come along here and shrink it, but again, it's very awkward to get in. Oh, yeah, I could almost, I could almost planish this, this area, sort of from here back, I could almost planish that, without getting too, into, into too much trouble, if you know what I mean, because we're talking. Now there's, for a lot of heat spots, these ones here, you know, are just tucked underneath that edge, as you can possibly see. So I, pr I could shrink this a little bit more, bang it in, and run that dolly in behind, and then switch and planish it the other way, because that's a that's pretty flat. So that's why I'm sort of using it to get it close, you know, from the other direction. You know, hammering it in, put that from on the in this pushed in spot, flattening it out, reasonable, and then switching and planishing it from the other way, because this hammer is. It's fairly flat too, but it's got a little bit of a crown on it. And this panel's fairly flat, but it's not dead flat, if you know what I mean. It's at the point where it's it's, it's, it's flat enough that that's not going to do any damage, if you know what I mean. But, yeah, I think we're going to leave it there. I'll have a quick look on the car. I might come back just for a couple of... 
seconds basically just to have a wee look. Um, if I think it's good enough, otherwise I'll see you in the morning. Maybe on a new video, possibly. Hmm. Alrighty, so I think it's pretty good. I might just shrink it here, I think, but it's pretty bloody. I've flattened that off a, t a shit ton. Like it's, it's quite a nice transition through there now. It hasn't got that big, you know. And it, um, so yeah, I'm just having a bit of a, like I'll just about get away with it, I think. Um, I think. Yeah, I reckon I'll pull the wall. Because now I can, you know, I can do like a little bit of body filler in here, you know, and just transition it into the air. I think we're going to be pretty good once I get it back on the hinges, obviously, because it's just sitting there with a couple of clamps just to get roughly to get it in the hole and just have a bit of a look. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. I've had another look in the morning when the light's just not on it the same and have another wee nosy, but um, yeah, I think I think we got it. I think we got it. But shit, that took uh, you know like that shows how much shrinking I had to do to you know and some of this I've been you know some of this I've been back over almost you know I've some of it I've done twice in areas you know like here you know I come back over sort of in spots where I've you know I've already been before you know almost you know so it shows what it what they how much too much material they had in there to try and pull that back in but you know I'd rather it be a little you know the odd little low spot now and not to be too high than anything you know I could possibly some of these in-betweens you know, I might go over just one more time if you know what I mean like I'm talking you know um, you know here you know some of these just just another shrink some of these don't feel too bad yeah just these ones here there you know, maybe a little bit down there type thing where those black marks are that's probably the only swatch that I would by just by feeling that I'd hit again you know that might be a little bit but as I said we'll have a bit of a look in the morning I might even run a, a rule or something down there just to have a bit of a, a, a look just to see whether those pieces are going to be too high for wood for where we're at if you know what I mean you know, run it through here and just have a wee look and just see what the clearances are um, but I think we're a, <laughs> we should look closer than we were you know two hours ago anyway I'm going to leave it here, I think. We'll cut it off for this video. Um, we'll make tomorrow the new one. So again... Oh, that's better. God, I couldn't find a spot to get out of the sun, so I just put the seat down looking at these doors. <laughs> Sat on the seat. So yeah, thanks for watching. Um, please like, share and subscribe. Um, I hope you enjoy what's going on, what I'm doing. Um, it's, it's kind of what I've got to do at the moment. I, you know, I haven't got three or four different projects here. I can jump around different stuff. Uh, and at some point, I'll get my project going. At, at some point, once I get a bit of cash flow going with some of these other jobs. Um, so, yeah, that'll be, that'll be cool. But, yeah, again, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and hit that like button and throw a comment up. Um, you know, I don't care if it's, you know, just hi, th you know, from, and thanks from where you're we are watching sort of type thing, you know, you know, hide from, I don't know, Czechoslovakia or Russia or <laughs> Australia or whatever, you know. Um, if you don't really want to leave a comment, just, you know, just give us something. Um, just helps that al algorithm keep going, keep, and hopefully get my subs up. I desperately want to get to that thousand. Um, it's just, it's been such a slow, drawn out process. I thought we would have been there ages ago, to be honest. Because we sort of had quite a jump there, but you know, quite a while ago, you know, we sort of moved quite quickly again, um, but it was sort of gone slow again. But yeah, so yeah, thanks for watching. Yeah.
like, share, subscribe, um, and we'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Cheers.